hello 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 everyone welcome back to learn tech global today we have anthony diaz with us who is going to teach you how social entrepreneur solutions um, to combat covid 19 so without further ado i'll just give this to omkar hey omkar hey, hey sundar so it, it is very much exciting like the amount of people joining us every day so it is really great to have you all today as well in our day four and uh, like thank you for all the support you have been giving us in all the three days previous three days and we appreciate your participation for today as well and today's session is going to be interesting it is not a technical session but it is not it is a, a more of like a non-technical session but it is about an interesting topic that is entrepreneurship and it is going to be delivered by an entrepreneur that is Anthony Diaz and he's also a gold MSP, a TEDx speaker. So like without wasting further time, I'll pass it on to Anthony and make him introduce himself to you, you all. So hey Anthony. Can I just say, before, before we start, can we just have everyone hit that like button and subscribe to support the channel and show Anthony your love. He's an amazing speaker and we're so, so lucky to have him. It's like eight in the morning where he is. So, you know, he's taking out a lot of time in his day just for this yeah um it's super exciting to to see everything happening today like um uh, like any other day over 20 people have joined and i'm sure we are hitting 30 by now or more and we are expecting a lot of people to join um but the, the true meaning is that what would you know tech be without money what would our life be without entrepreneurship and So Anthony is re really good for this topic and he's the right man behind it. So um, we just roll it over to him. Hi, Anthony. Hi, everyone. How are you? Yeah, Doing exciting. Good. Excited for your session. Thank you very much. I hope uh, every, everyone is safe and is doing great during those tough times. Um, today, I would like to I would like to introduce you with some opportunities that we can leverage during this situation to be able to use the technology that we have been learning in the last few days and that we already know to construct solutions that can uh, that can solve problems in our community. That's why today, let me just share my screen for a second. That's why today talk is social entrepreneurship opportunities to mitigate or to combat COVID-19. Here I have, perfect. Please let me know if everything is okay. Yes, we can see you. Perfect. So it's really great to meet you all, guys. I am really excited to, to be here sharing this day with you. Um, I will be following your comments. So uh, don't hesitate to comment your question or any request that you want. Um, during After the break, I will be replying to you. So for those who don't know me, my name is Anthony Diaz. I am a, a Colombian young uh, student entrepreneur in mathematics. I study in University of Montreal, but also I immigrated here to Montreal eight years ago, here to Canada. Uh, during those years, actually since my high school, I founded my first startup called Uval. Uh, uh, the main goal is to create renewable energy use, uh, a consumer use case that we can use in our everyday life. In 2017, uh, we launched uh, a Kickstarter campaign, a successful Kickstarter campaign um, that allowed us to represent Canada in international competitions and, and international showcase 
uh, South by Southwest. Also, uh, more recently, I went to India uh, in January to present in the World Sustainable uh, Summit. Uh, also, I work in, before I joined the university, uh, during my college, uh, I was recruited by Deloitte uh, to work as a PMO, uh, Project Manager Officer, and also with FIRST Robotic. Uh, right now, uh, I am doing entrepreneurship classes in College La Salle here in Montreal, and it's, uh, it's been quite a journey. Uh, right now, I am a full-time student and also a part-time entrepreneur with some of the solutions that I am going to present to you right now. Well, it's not new. Uh, we are all in quarantine. We are all following the same global pandemic and it's important to uh, stay home, to stay safe. For me, it had been more than 100 days here in my home. Uh, it had been great because it had been a great opportunity to connect with my family. But of the quarantine, I just take a break. I say during this year, just in the beginning of this year, I have been traveling a lot in Miami, in the United States, also in England, India, and Brazil. So I figured out, okay, let's take this time to stay home, uh, just to sleep a little more, and it will be great. That's amazing. It had been years that I was not able to do that. But one more later, I was really desperate because I am not used to being home for so long, and I am not used to not being active, not being traveling for so long. So it was a little desperation that takes place, but after a while, I figured out, okay, I am not the only one who is experienced this situation. I am not the only one who is stuck in home. Um, this is not a choice. We are doing this to save for help and to help others. So let's accept this situation and let's enjoy this time to learn new things. And that's what I did. I started to uh, enjoying uh, the pressure to learn more things in online class. Uh, as I say early, is in February, I have the pleasure to came back to Brazil for the second time. Uh, I decided, okay, I want to improve my Portuguese. So I start to take online classes uh, of Portuguese in Duolingo. If you don't know Duolingo, I highly recommend you to start using it because it's a great application, a great free application where you can learn new language. Um, it's the way I learn uh, French when I arrive to Canada, um, how I am learning Portuguese. Also, I started to follow in the Microsoft Learning Path. Um, it had been a great adventure to learn how to use Power Apps, how to do SQL uh, on the cloud um, do, and discover very amazing things. And with Platzi, is a Latin America platform for course, but uh, in your case, this is a global community. So I recommend you other platforms like Coursera or edX, where you can take uh, free classes. Um, there I start to taking class of on SQL, on R, on Python, uh, and data analysis on Python uh, have been great. Why I tell you that is because uh, all those knowledge that I have been accumulating in those times, uh, in these times, have been very great to build the two solutions I am going to present to you right now. And those are Tutien de Cita and Kobe. In the case of Tutien de Cita, uh, it's an online market 
construct around WhatsApp business where people can make orders to the neighborhood stores without leaving home. It's a free service and it had been a great, um, a great business opportunity that has helped more than a thousand people in my hometown in Colombia. I am very proud to do that because it's a way to contribute, even if I am not there, to give a little grain of sense to them and to be able to help them during those tough times. After I'm going to explain you why I did that. In the case of COVID, it's a government map network to prevent us to contract COVID-19. And in the case of COVID, uh, I am collaborating right now with the government of Quebec to develop, to deploy this solution in Montreal. And we are happy to announce that we are going to deploy the first pilot pri project next week. So it will be a great attempt. So in the case of Tutti and the Cita and even Kobe, I have been working with an amazing team with two amazing friends and great people who are Marianique Benoit, who is from Mexico and live here in Montreal. And she studied in McGill University, computer science and music. And also with Jorge Bolivar, who is one of the greatest mathematicians in the last years, who have been representing our country, uh, Colombia, in international math competition, but also is a mechanic engineer. And he had been the point, uh, uh, the central point in Colombia, who has helped us to be able to deploy to Tiendecita, that I am going to explain you later how it works. Now, why I start to Tiendecita? In my case, it's a personal motivation. Why? Because uh, my grandparents, uh, they have a, a little store, a third store, uh, uh, na tienda, <laughs> a neighborhood store. Um, during this pandemic, uh, they have been, the, the, the sales have decreased a lot. So I figured out it would be great to help them to, to sell online. Uh, and to do that, they need to have a, an online presence. So I start by creating to them uh, the Twitter, the Instagram account, the Facebook account, and to help them to install a WhatsApp business so they can receive all the orders in a same number. And it was a great beginning. But after that, I realized that almost all the small business in, in my hometown in Barranquilla, Colombia, doesn't have access to this technology. So I decided, okay, let's create this in a more larger experience. So the idea is to connect. I am sorry that the slide is in Spanish. And it's because I, I was doing <laughs> I was doing this experience to the government of Colombia, uh, we are starting to work a little bit, so that's why it's in Spanish. And the idea is to connect the neighborhood uh, store with the neighborhood, with the neighbors. And uh, what is uh, the relationship that exists with them? To, to put you in context, in Colombia, people go to those neighborhood, uh, go to those neighborhood store every day to buy a little of food, uh, to buy simple things. So it's useful to go. And right now, because of quarantine, they cannot uh, go, go there. So instead of going out, I decide why not to create a system where we can support the local economy and we can uh, save the health of people. Um, why not use only WhatsApp, a service where more than two over three person, three people in Colombia already used uh, to talk with her family and everything. So that's why we decided, okay, let's use WhatsApp. 
but there is a big problem. What is how we can connect with these people? What do we need? Do we need their email? Do we need uh, to create an app? Do we need to create a website? Uh, watch more. Um, something that we figured out is that the market segmentation that we want to help more, that are the uh, store uh, owners, they don't, they don't, they don't have access to technology. They use WhatsApp because it's a way to communicate with his family, but they don't have apps installed in the in their phone. So the application option was not an was not really a, a, a useful option. For the email, we need an instant communication because people are going to do microtransactions. So that's why the email was not necessary. We decided to just use the cell phone number to be able to connect to them. So we create a bot, we deploy a bot, as I can show you here, where that's an example of someone doing a request. You can see when they write, uh, the bot reply to you like, okay, what do you want to order today? When people order something, we ask them, okay, please tell me what is your address and where do you live? When they reply when, with their answer, the back process that we do, that we search what is the local business near to them, and we match. After that, the, we send what is the price of each, uh, of each item. And in Colombia, is something that maybe you can create in, in other part of the world is they don't use a credit card as often as we use it here in North America. So they normally pay with contact money, uh, with cash. So that's why we ask them, okay, with which bill would you pay exactly so we can send to you the set exchange and we don't need to touch each other or do con multiple contamination. And yeah, it was great to do that. Um, for now, we have more than a thousand people who already work of, with that. Uh, we have more than 800 business who are already part of the of the platform, and we are looking forward uh, in this month, um, actually in these five days uh, of June, to be more than a thousand business already working with us. Uh, we have proposal for other um, cities who want to implement the same technology, and it's great. Uh, I am really excited because uh, it's something that I start, as I told you, just with the aim to help my grandparents. Uh, and right now, it's something that is impactful for a lot of a small business in Colombia. So I hope it will keep growing, and I hope it will be something that we can apply in different parts of the world. For example, when I went to India, I saw that there is a lot of small business around New Delhi, For uh, I was in New Delhi, so around New Delhi, and it will be a great opportunity to create this type of uh, delivery service using WhatsApp, uh, so small, owners can survive during those tough times. Uh, and now I'm going to explain you why I, what I use. So if you want to reply, uh, you want to create this uh, system, you can know what to use. Um, it's important to tell you, all of these uh, subjects I learned during this quarantine. So during the accept quarantine phase. <laughs> so the first one was Twilio. In Twilio, uh, I learned how to automatize the WhatsApp conversation, how to create a, a, a build um, a loop so we can search the conversation, we can search the address in my maps and like that, extract to API 
so we can send what is the uh, nearest business to that person and also to connect to them so they they don't need to go beyond or expose themselves second one was selenium with python for those who don't know selenium i will be delivering um, uh, a conference about how to do web scrap, how to use Selenium in two weeks for now. And using Selenium, what I did was to scrap all the small business address and phone numbers who are in my town. And I found them in different websites and found it on Google uh, Maps. And it was a way to automatize the search of new business and to improve the time of response to them. It was really like, uh, um, it's a very useful platform to do different projects. Not only a, a strat, uh, not only a strat direction, but also to interact with any website. So if you want to learn how to use Selenium, I will be doing that in, in the following days. Another one was Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a website, it's a website creator platform where you can de you can design and you can deploy your website uh, for free using a hack that I will be sharing to you later. And it's really great because we as a student has have access to that platform. So I recommend you to use it because using Bootstrap, I deploy my website for to the less than well, in less than a week, and it looks more professional and also it uh, online presentation for us. Right now, I'm going to share. Uh, so before we go to the question panel. Uh, Oh, let me share with you. Let me share with you a presentation. Uh, share with you. Okay, you can ask me any question on Twitter too. I am very active there. Uh, if you speak French, if you speak uh, Portuguese or Spanish, uh, you can do it in your in your preferred language. It will be my pleasure to do it. But I would like to present to you GitHub Education Pack. If you haven't used it until now, I strongly recommend to you to go there and to check it out. Why? Because GitHub Student Develop Developer Pack has been a, a useful platform that I have been using during the last two years to uh, create my startups. Why? Because being a student, I have the tools, the free tools to create, um, uh, to not need to invest money to be able to deploy my startup. For example, using Namecheap, you will have an affordable registration, hosting and domain for one year. And in my case, if you want to check it out, uh, I create my blog, this one, Antonio Diaz, that Emmy, where I tell the history of um, Tiendecita, and I start to like share a little more. Girl Power, this is my sister in Technovation, for example. It's a program for education for girls. If you are a, a woman, or if you have a woman, that's a little break. I recommend you to recommend to them that program. It's really amazing. And I try to share everything uh, with you there. Um, all of this UX UI I created thank you to uh, the Nameship uh, tool that is free for Education GitHub. Also we have name.com, uh, we have uh, Amazon Education Pack uh, for free, Unity if you are creating a, a a game could be great for you, Canva. If you 
have never heard about Canva, for me, Canva is a replacement of Photoshop for Thomas. <laughs> for people who are not a professional designer, I really recommend you to check it out Canva. For example, my presentation, I created using Canva. <laughs> and you can do it using the package to have the, the, pro per, the pro version, the one that you need to pay free for 12 months. Microsoft Azure, Digital Ocean is great to cloud hosting. Bootstrap, as I tell you, you will have a free license because normally you need to pay for that, of a free license of the Bootstrap to create your website. Um, so you have access to Mongo, uh, to tech domains. You can be part of the GitHub Campus Esper, uh, that is as a Microsoft student partner. Um, but you can apply while being a student, and the fact that you are already a Microsoft student partner is a great start to represent them there. Also, you can see there is a, a lot of resources, and I recommend you. For example, test mail that, that app is something that I use with Uvol to create a, a platform, a, a reply a experience. And Send Green from Twilio, he had been a platform that I have been using to send my press release. Uh, to communicate with my community, uh, in my companies, and normally, uh, to be honest, I pay for that service before. And now, I discover that being a student, I have access to 50,000 free emails per month. And that's amazing. So I really recommend you to check it out. As you can see, we have Typeform. I recommend you to check it out. Stripe. If you want to create an e-commerce, it gives you the first $100 with transaction fee for free. So go do a favor and go check out this website and comment and give me a comment with one service that you want to use and that you discover there, please. And right now I am open to um to uh, start talking with you uh, and to reply to your question so uh, thank you very much here you have uh, my twitter my insta my email if you have any question but let's enjoy this time to to do it for to in real time so i will be joining uh, youtube right now to check it out That's great, Anthony, and uh, we'll have a short break right now. Three minutes break. Are you done with your session? I am done with the session, but uh, I am free to, to reply to any question. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can uh, like post it in the chat. Anthony is here with us. He and un all un your questions. Until that, we'll have a break. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a break. So, Raghuda, uh, can you just uh, set the timer? Okay. So, uh, I'll post the I'll, I'll post the attendance link in the chat and post your questions in the chat section, and we'll be back soon after the break. So, stay tuned.
Yeah. Okay. So, welcome. Welcome back after the break. Well, Anthony, you do have some questions in the chat. So, I'll start with the first question. Uh the DS Yeah, I think asked, before before you even get started, um just okay. to tell everyone in the chat, if you really like what is going on, all the discussion that Anthony had with you, click on the like button and also click on the subscribe button. We need to grow together with you, all right? Let us yes. know whether you're liking it so much. And keep dropping your comments because in the next 30 minutes, it's all about what you think, okay? Take it, take it to be like you have a chance of asking, you know, an entrepreneur what, you know, how to figure out your next big idea. Um, ask him any question and let's see what it goes. So, um, yeah, over to you, Sinda. Okay, great. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Okay, so moving on to the first question. The Dear Siblings asked Anthony, how do you manage your student life with the initiatives you create? I would say that something that is important to do is to have a, a shadow and to figure out what is the way that you feel more comfortable to work. In my case, I know that I like to work in the morning, so I try to sleep not too late and wake up very early to, to start to do my, my stuff. Uh, when I mean my stuff, I mean the initiative. So when I start my student life I, at 8, eight o'clock, I start just to study and after the class, I schedule some meetings, but I try to not burn out myself but to have a lot of free time so I can like balance uh, the work with the with the free time. Okay, so that's re that, that, that's really a good balance between <laughs> work and student life. Uh, Omkar, can you get the next questions? Yeah, sure, sure, Sundar, I can. So uh, the next question is by Shan Datta. He's asking, what is the advantage of using Selenium with Python? Sorry, wh what is the question? The question is, what is the advantage of using Selenium with Python? Okay. Uh, the advantage of using, I mean, in my case, uh, I I like Python as a, lang a programming language. I know that Selenium, you can use it with C Sharp, you can use it with JavaScript, you can use it with different language. But in my case, I feel more familiar with Python because if you are a beginner, for example, more easy to learn it as a, uh, as, a, uh, as, a, as a platform that if you are using with C -Sharp. So that's why I am doing the, the web scrap uh, Python class on, on Python. Okay, that's great. So, uh, someone is also asking, uh, Varad is asking how to get GitHub, GitHub ex uh, education pack. He wants to know about how to get GitHub execution pack. Education pack, sorry. Uh, you only need to go to education.github.com slash pack and you need to fill out uh, um, you have to fill out a, a form where you provide your uh, university email, you know? So like that they can uh, they can validate if you are really a university student or a college student. And after that, they will give you the pack. Uh, normally it instantly or it take uh, a few days, but it's free and it's accessible to any student in the world. Oh, that's great. That's great. So make sure you get the GitHub execu uh, education pack as well. And uh, next question is uh, uh, by Neha Savant. She's asking, what are some of the important skills and knowledge that we must learn to start a startup and to be an entrepreneur? Uh, there are a few. There are differences. Uh, I will say that it's important to understand that it's not always easy. Uh, uh, Via entrepreneur, it's full of upside and down. Um, you need to find what is your what is your passion, uh, and always remember why are you doing this. 
because it's not only for the money. If you start a startup, you will not always win money. Um, it will take time before you start to receive uh, receive uh, the investment that you give. So important to be patient and to learn from others. Also be mentorable. So listen from the feedback of other people. Um, listen from people who have more experience than you, so you can grow uh, using their experience and their mistake in your favor. Do not make it again. And the third one will be to surround yourself with people who complement your skills. If you are a software engineering and you don't feel great doing human relationship, well, search someone that feel more comfortable in that area and like that the team can complement itself. That's some great, uh, that's some great advice, Anthony. And uh, like, I like, like, I like pretty much con connect with you as well, because I'm also an entrepreneur. I also have my startup and I'm pretty much like you only so I can get you. Uh, and that was some great advice you gave to the audience. So, uh, can you share some of your experiences in like uh, like about your journey of uh, like establishing your startup? How was your journey throughout? You, uh, like talking about you old, how was it? Like from start to end, like and right now also about the real scenario taking COVID nineteen into the account. How is it going? Sure, thank you very much. Um, for you, well, I I didn't take a lot of time explaining that part. But in the case of you, well, I started when I was in high school. Um, it was a crazy journey because I started as a high school science project, not as a startup. Uh, but when I had the first uh, functional product, uh, let's say something, I, I share history. When I started Uval, my idea was to use my body energy, the heat and the solar energy to charge, uh, to charge my phone. And my teachers thought it was crazy and it was impossible. So I started to take online class in MITx about electrical engineering, watching YouTube videos, how to do my PCB, my printed uh, circuit, uh, how to program uh, in Arduino and things like that. And five months later, I came back to the school with a functional prototype. After that, I want to give this solution to people around the world. More importantly, in my, in my hometown in Colombia, because uh, the access to energy is not constant. So I, I feel it's a problem that we need to fix. And that's where I start to learn those same advice that I am giving to you. I learn it. Uh, I surround myself with people who are better than me, more experience than me in different ambit. Listen to others. Um, listen to others doesn't mean do what other people tell you to do, but just listen. Take what do you think is valuable in your case, and let the rest outside. But be be humble and understand that you are not always right. And with that uh, startup. We have a great traction. Uh, for example, uh, some of the accomplishments is uh, I received the prize of uh, Young Student Entrepreneur of the Year by the Government of Canada, also by Entrepreneur Organization, who was chosen as a Student Entrepreneur uh, by the Student Entrepreneur Award, the Global Student Entrepreneur Award. Uh, I represent Quebec. Uh, in Belgium, I represent Quebec in France, I represent the government of Canada in India uh, in January, but also in United States when I went to New York, when I went to South by Southwest in Texas. Um, with the Kickstarter, uh, we received more than $150,000 um, from people around the world 
to believe in our project and to invest in our project to to have their the first UV watch. What is a UV watch? It's a watch that harvests solar energy, body energy to charge a battery that you can take off and bring to your phone. So yeah, that's great, have. and it is real. You are really an inspiration, Anthony, for all of. And uh, it was uh, like really great what you just talked about. Like why people should more focus on entrepreneurship rather than get, getting a job. Like uh, it about it's about all about following your passion, following your intuition. Like so that is like entrepreneurship never bores you. It always like encourages you to do something for the community, do something for. The people do something better, like build a better community. So it's really great. And uh, we, uh, like, let's just uh, go back to the questions. And uh, there is a question by Anuba, and she's asking, how do you motivate yourself? So it's her question, like, how do you motivate yourself? Do you want to answer that? Like, some tips you want to give on how you motivate yourself? Yes. Uh, thank you for the question, Anuba. Uh, I will say that. Something that motivates me a lot is to see what is the impact that that will give uh, to the people that I am building this. Uh, as I say, it's not always easy, it's not always fun, but uh, at the end of the day, when you see that that could bring something impactful, something positive to other people's life, you feel great and you say like, okay, let's keep going. In my case for Tiendecita, as I present, it was the fact that it will help my grandparents, you know? So that's what keep me going and keep me like, trying to improve the service. So that's great. So next question is by Shan Datta. He's asking why social entrepreneurship is the need of the hour during COVID-19. So any comments on that? Yeah, I will say like this time show us that we need to think more than in ourselves and we need to think in our community because uh, we don't do that. Uh, we already know with climate change what will be some of the problem, um, some of the problem that will generate uh, all the pollution that we are that we are creating during those past year. Also, uh, with the pandemic, we feel uh, what's happened when we disconnect ourselves from each other. So it's a it's a great time to connect in the distance with people feel the pain using our knowledge and using the time that we have uh, in our home to create to create connections with others so that's why i believe it's a great time to not only when i talk about social entrepreneurship could be initiative could be what you are doing guys by organizing this kind of event when uh, we can all connect by each other and we can all learn from each other. So that's why I believe it's important to uh, do entrepreneurship in the way that it could be sustainable and it can create an impact and in the other time to, to do initiative that can be beneficial to a population. That's great, that's great. And uh, it was really much like the answer was really much relevant to what the question was. And I want to ask you, it's my personal question, what is your mission and vision towards your entrepreneurial yeah. journey? What do you like uh, think of your startup right now and what do you expect from your startup in this future, like uh, later years? You want like, just your thoughts on your mission and vision. Yeah, my mission is to connect, uh, the, is to connect people with their neighbor and to create an efficient way where everyone can can survive this situation and can go beyond uh, to use this opportunity to make a digital change 
so we can democratize the local, econ uh, local economy business. Uh, something that uh, big platform as Uber Food, as uh, in, in Latin America, is another one, fail to do it because uh, is very small business and are micro transactions. So it's more complicated to manage. And that's the challenge that I have during this pandemic. Um, my vision is to go beyond my my country and implant this solution in Latin America because we live the same problem in different in different uh, countries. That's great. So it's really inspiring. You have worked with you have uh, represented Q Quebec at various countries and you have done all a lot of this like for the culture for the community and you love connecting with people so that yeah. really motivates our audience to like i want to like give everyone a did they, did they, did they yeah. do they actually have more questions in the chat or their questions are finished though yeah we just have a like one more question which popped up and uh okay it's from the yeah same, yeah so awesome then you it, okay cool Cool. Yeah, Act, so, uh, uh, right. so Neha is asking again, are there any startup ideas in your mind that you wish they existed but are not there yet in the market? Hmm. I will say that uh, Tiendecita uh, is uh, what I am doing with TNDC is something that I wish it exists before because it will help my grandparents. Uh, and something that I like, uh, that I would like to exist before. But any other startup idea? There, there are a lot. Uh, and in your case, uh, uh, Nena, I will say, Think about what is happening around um, around your community, and think what you can use uh, with the knowledge that, that you have to um, to resolve it. That's great. And Anthony, uh, the session talking about the session, it was like uh, very much inspiring interactive very much informative you gave a lot of advices so that's really great and uh, like people are also loving it they like they are uh, like commenting thanks thanks for so much love uh, great session yeah. so i, I yeah. think before we, we before we quickly you know thank ourselves and leave um anthony you know we, when we talk about entrepreneurship we are talking about ideas right and uh, how do, how how can one conceive an idea what what process is it like it comes to you when you are sitting there uh what process do does it take for one to come up with an idea i would say it's not all about the idea it's about the the execution of the idea uh, mm. because okay. uh, the idea will uh, we have an evolution and will change uh with with the time, more you discover about what is the problematic, mm -hmm. more you change your idea. So, we'll say it's not about the idea, it's about the passion that you have about a problem. Uh, okay. And how you want to solve that problem. How bad you want to solve that problem. Because idea will change a lot. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's great. Yes. So, so, we have one more question from Tanvay here. So Tanmay, asked, Tanmay is asking, is your science project in the market right now or has the idea been taken by any other company? Oh, my science project? Yeah, it is in research and development stage and we are collaborating with other company. But right now I cannot make announcement about that. But yeah, it's, it's still going uh, with... Uh, Private private funding. Amazing. That's great. It was really inspiring. Yeah, yeah it's it's amazing. Work. I think one thing I was taking out from what um um Anthony was saying with regards to ideas or not ideas is that um 
when you want to coin a product, there is a, a massive need for you to go through a um, series of brainstorming. And you only go under brainstorming because of a situation, right? If, if you take a look at what Anthony was able to do, Anthony got the idea of the COVID you know, product that they are building because of what? Uh, the situation that is currently happening, right? And I think one thing more is that sometimes we look beyond the resources available to us immediately. We look very afar, right? But when Anthony wanted to combine everything together, this Tulio thing is the same thing you do. Probably most of you have used Tulio um, to send messages just for, you know, demo that is sitting on your laptop, right? But Anthony looked at, you know, um, Tulio looked at WhatsApp, looked at um, bootstrap, the things that we uh, we use every day to, you know, build a product that is really impacting the world. So I think when it comes to an idea, it, it's more about giving attention to the very, you know, things that are around you and the problems that, you know, we are facing and we'll be able to come up with, you know, one thing that can, you know, change the world. So like Anthony said, it's not really about the idea, but, you know, the situations that come with it. I think that's a great takeaway that I, I took from this. That's great, that's great. And uh, Anthony, we have a lot of positive comments coming in. Like, I just asked people to comment their thoughts. So they are saying, great session, Anthony. Then, uh, fabulous session, very informative session. Thank you, sir. Your ideas are enlightening. Amazing session, informative session. So everyone really loved the session. You also told them about how to like pursue entrepreneurship, how was your journey in entrepreneurship and how to like tackle all those problems and how to make an impact on the whole. So it was a really great session. Anthony, do you want to say something to the audience right now? They are, they are watching you. They are commenting positive comments. So can you like just elaborate, like tell them how do you feel about it? Uh, I am feeling so grateful. Um... I, I, I ju just replied to them uh, on YouTube. Uh, it has been a, a, an amazing time and I, I would like to thanks for all the questions. And I recommend you to follow me on Twitter or Insta to continue the conversation. Uh, don't be shy, you can, you can ask me anything uh, because I am very open. Um, I am where I am right now, and I am able to build those projects because I have the mentorship of other people who open and give me the time to reply to my questions, so I want to do the same. I know I, I am young, and I have a lot to learn, but if I can help you, any one of you with something uh, that, that I already know, it will be my pleasure to do it. Yeah, um, absolutely. This is Anthony um, giving you all his takes on, you know, how excited he is about, you know, your comment that you left. I, I think I am trying to get all your social handles in a website that we deployed from the day one. So most of you, if you visit the lead, uh, is it Lead Tech Global uh, website, you can see there's a series of updates going on there. And there's Anthony Dyer's Twitter handle right in the chat let me click on it to make sure that it works uh before it leads you to a wrong uh url oh uh not that one so i think i'll take it from anthony dias yeah so so that, that would can i speak uh, like can i give an update about tomorrow's event yeah sure you should go ahead yeah yeah sure so like like with this session we completed finally four days and we are very much overwhelmed with what you are like, what support you have given from your side. And it's really great. It inspires us to do more. And uh, finally, it's the last day tomorrow. And uh, like, I'm very much sad. I just enjoyed the whole four days. And uh, like, I think of it like maybe we could do more, two or three more days on like, on such like talking of like uh, inviting speakers and talking on, on such topics. So tomorrow's session is going to be about uh, Azure blockchain. So it is a very interesting topic and uh, it is going to be delivered by Rogerio Rodriguez. He's from Brazil. He's also a gold MSP. So make sure you like tune in tomorrow as well. Tomorrow is the last day of the event. 
and those people who have joined each and every day for the, like like including today i want to thank each and every one of you so it wouldn't be possible without you guys like uh, i hope that you learn something new out of it you learn something some new concepts in this lockdown in this corona virus novel corona virus pandemic scenario and i hope that me and the inspire team could make an impact could make you learn something new so i thank you all for attending and i also want to thank anthony for delivering such a session and uh, anthony we are very much happy that we have like chose you as our speaker and that was a really great session thank you very much absolutely absolutely <laughs> yeah anthony has delivered very well um what was expected of him and we are we are so much excited about today's session um so i think one thing i just quickly want to call out is that i know fox want to learn how to build you know sites on their own they want to upskill and if you look at from day one what we've been able to do is to give you the right things that you know would help you to scale up very well so um if you if you check on our site i'm currently running some updates on it i wish i could do it real time with you uh, so you look at how it is it is ending up with exactly what you created so thank you very much uh, we just realized that we got 64 likes for Anthony Diaz. Um, Anthony, congratulations! And, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was I was going to talk about it, Davos, and uh, it is really yeah. great. We, we got 64, 65, 66. It's uh, increasing. The amount is increasing, but no dislikes yet because the session was great. Everyone is commenting. They all love the session, and entrepreneurship is an interesting topic yeah. to speak about. Amazing, amazing, yeah. absolutely. Thanks for the response. Like it was really great, and uh, to all those who are commenting positive comments, Anthony is very much like happy about what you guys are commenting here, and it really inspires us. Not even me, Dawood, but also Anthony, each and every one of us to like come up with such sessions on MSP Inspire and like make you. The whole point of doing the sessions is to uh, make you learn something new, something innovative. Like in this lockdown as well so i hope that you have enjoyed all those four days and i hope that you will uh, like attend tomorrow as well so that would be want to conclude for anthony anyone yeah maybe anthony would would say some last words before we go but yeah, anthony, yeah, yeah I, I, from I, your side. yeah i will i would like to invite you uh, to the next session tomorrow with rogerio I had the pleasure to talk with him last time I went to Brazil in August, not in February. Um, he's an amazing person. He also I met him in Seattle, and we have been collaborating uh, to create uh, collaboration in all Latin America. In one month in July, we are going to start a Python camp for beginners. So it's completely free. Uh, I'm going to share with you the form later, so you can send to to the people register, guys. And it will be amazing if, if anyone wants to participate, because it's with the same aim that uh, MSP program have to share uh, the knowledge and to connect with people from all around the world. Bye everyone, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. We'll all see you tomorrow for Rogerio's session. Thank you. Thank you everyone. When it's good, it's amazing. When